Hi friends, this is Sanjeev. In our last video, we have shown you that how to make RTB mold. And if you haven't seen this video, you can go to the description. I have given the link of the video and watch it. And you can go to the i button given on the screen to watch that video. And now today in this video, we will be showing that how to cut the mold and take out the wax pattern through the wax injection process. So let's start the video. We are in process to cut the mold. Here you can see that uh, we are going to cut this one first, which is the castable wax already. And uh, now uh, let me tell you what kind of uh, materials and tools is required to cut this mold. First of all, that let me tell you that this is the surgical blade handle. We will be using this one. And uh, this is also the another model of surgical blade handle. The second thing is this is the blade. Here you can see that, can you just imagine that this number is being written here, 12 number, flat. So you have the opening on the top side and just open this in this way. And now, take this blade out. If it is visible, this is 12 number, shown on this side. So this is especially cut to cut the curve onto the mold. And how to fit the blade? Let me tell you. You can see here, there's a raised part of this fittings, and in this raised part, there is a slot. This is slot, and this side also there is slot. So you can see here that there is a narrow and the wide part. So when we fit the blade, make sure that you have to handle this way and start pushing the blade into the groove and just put that you will get a click sound and the muck blade is fit completely the another blade that we have is you can see here the 11 number this is also a surgical blade this is used to operate the people but here in the industry we use it for the cutting of rubber molds see the shape Yes, this is an 11 number if you can see 11 number and this has a straight shape completely straight shape again it has a slot wider and a narrow and this is another type of surgical blade handle which is used in the jewelry industry uh, this frame also has a groove and the raised part both the side grooves and that way of fitting the blade is same Remove the blade again, just raise the bottom part up and just remove the frame, not the blade. So now we have fit both the blades. And another attachment that you have to show this is the clamp here. And we have made a tip, band tip over here. So I can hold my mold here and to stretch them out in the two parts. This is a C clamp where you can uh, lock this claw here confirmly and this complete set will help you to tear off the and to hold the both up sides of your rubber hold. Okay, now we are just going to cut this mold. Make sure that you find a correct comfort positions sitting first of all that you can see there is a yellow color it's a brass metal a screw cone we call it a screw cone first of all we need to remove this first so take a tweezer and just take this out so this is screw cone is out and you can see the very nice shape of cone inside it. This is the uh, you know a narrow hole which helps to feed the wax inside into the mold. Now we will take this 12 number blade and we will start cutting from this 
part and we will cut this throughout the line all four side and see we will make around 1.5 or 2 mm deep cut make sure when you are just turning or changing the direction do not remove the blade and just get it cut as it is because once you remove the blade you will get another direction or another line or another cut so better just don't remove the blade and just keep the cutting continues and just leave it to the another end of this nozzle hole very precisely just don't cut through it just bend it like this very safely now here you can see that this has been cut very nicely around 2 mm deep right now cutting it more deeper and we'll make a zigzag like this maybe you are not able to see and these zigzags are important to make because these zigzags will make your molds grip not to slip here and there when you will be joining them for filling the purpose and it is very important and necessary and cut through all the sides different people have different strategies to cut the mold uh, I don't think that we need to make so much intricacy into this mold because these RTV molds are very delicate so you can or we can make good efforts to make a designs into the mold itself by cutting when you have a castelled rubber vulcanizable rubber by heat this rubber is vulcanizable just by a slight temperature around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius for 2 hours or maybe 3 hours and again it depends on to the proportion of the hardening that you mix with it and that's it here in the side you can see some kind of Cuts. I'll show you by opening it. It's like a crocodile jaw, right? Now cut it more. Now we take eleven number straight on because now we are just going to cut the mold completely. So make the cut deeper and straight away. So we are going more and more inside you can see here. And we have to cut along the master inside the RPT we have. So we will cutting we will be cutting onto the edge of this top part of this shank of this ring. We should not cut from the center of the shank because you will have a parting line otherwise. Now we will sit to the claw here at this one. So it can help me to check it.
other side. Can you see the, the purple wax? Now I cut from the other side. Going to the one side of the top of the sink, I need to make sure myself that it has to be on the top of the shank one side. So we cut around 40% of the total and make sure that when you are just cutting the top part, don't make any mistake when you are cutting the design part, be careful. So I will come from the top side now. So we will have a good grip and will not slip here there. Just keep checking that it is close to the design part. And that's it. 
see we have departed this mold in two half here you can see I have tried to cut along this plane of this plane you need to be very uh, skillful for that even I try my best but you can see that there's some part of uh, RTV rubber is on the top side never mind it will not uh, disturb us too much but the thing is that you have to cut this strong part the main stone setting part clearly so now I am just removing this master uh, I am just trying to keep it safe so I got it nicely in my hand saved it so I can use it second part of my mold two prongs are in this side and this side of my frame okay. now we will see in the next step that uh, to take out the wax pattern out of it can lock it like this you can see here it's completely lock and we can inject the wax through this hole this is the cavity my design so uh, the front that you see that uh, I have cut it in the second mold also uh, so here that I just want to specify uh, one more thing here that uh, this piece is very big you know and it will be very difficult to remove the wax pattern when you will be injecting the wax inside so for that that what we have to do and let you know uh, in this part but you can see that's very deep all around and uh, taking wax piece out of this mold is very difficult so what i have done the top part i have not made separate but i have made it loose by cutting around 75 percent and now uh, i have to cut the third part completely separate from this mold which is this one so uh, if I just make this part as a third part, so uh, for me uh, it will be easy to take the third part out and take the wax piece out of it very easily. So let me show you how to do this or how to take this third part out by cutting. It's little difficult, but we have to take this out.
patience and effort to take this part of the journey. silicone spray which will help us to fix this back properly you can see here that we have this heavy duty silicone spray which makes the surface very slippery and smooth and make sure that uh, you don't use this spray wherever you have the fire because it catches the fire very fast so be careful so whenever you use this Use it uh, right from at least this much gap away. So we will be using this spray like this. So this will make the small very slippery. You can see just how slippery it is right now. Spray this part also. And this also. And sometimes some people are. Uh, you know allergic to this spray so make sure that you are not allergic otherwise you may be in a trouble so back side you just fix it inside so easy without spray it was not possible to inject it so easy inside when you just want to inject inject from the back side and place very well and slow it very few few times once you inject this wax into this cavity through this nozzle, once the wax is dry, just take this third part out easily. Then, then open this easily and then take the wax piece out of it. So, this is third part idea. Facilitate yourself, your person will be faster and easy, and you will not have distorted pieces. So, we have cut it two molds. This is the third one. Okay, uh, so friends, uh, now you can see that we have made all three RTV rubber molds here, and uh, I was uh, lucky that. Uh, now I could get all my three uh, models safe. This is the wax one, this is the blue uh, resin, and this is the, the purple castable wax. And here uh, I will show you that uh, this is a good one, and uh, it is a very small one, that's why we do not require to have third part or some other intricacy to be cut out. And this is the bigger size of the design on the top side so it was difficult to remove the wax pattern from the mold here you can see that it is been divided into two parts and uh, here you can see that i have divided into three parts because this one is very difficult to take this out the wax pattern from this cavity so whenever we will be filling the cavity from this nozzle this part so uh, after that we will remove this third part first this one so we will remove this part first in this way and just remove put it back when you will be filling it back this way so this is third part and sometimes you will see that uh, this is the the bad uh, one that we uh, have shown by purpose that we have made this uh, rubber mold based by purpose because I just wanted to show you that which one is the good one and which one is the bad one and why because not proper mixing 
not proper vacuum creates this this kind of nonsense the bubbles you can see here inside that the whole mold is filled with the bubbles so that we cannot reuse it so next we will show you that how to take out the wax patterns from these molds now we are going to make wax pattern out of that and uh, for that uh, we will uh, require some materials like we we'll need uh, some acrylic plate to hold uh, this mold for filling now we need uh, the wax injector this is called the wax injection machine and this wax injection machine works on three principles like uh, the pressure the pressure how much pressure is required for filling the wax inside the next is wax temperature here you can see in that side there is a wax temperature control we need around uh, 90 85 to 90 degrees celsius temperature to flow the wax properly into the cavity of i have filled the wax blue wax inside the this uh, container of wax injection and the temperature for this remains around uh, 75 to 80 degrees celsius and or you have to follow as per the the manufacturer instruct you for that to have the temperature the third principle of you have to follow that you have to maintain the how much time duration that you hold the your uh, this mold to fill it properly the material required is talcum powder to dry up the wax mold uh, to dry up the uh, tree mold inside because sometimes there is a moisture and will not allow the wax to flow so let's try uh, as we see that this is a very small uh, wax pattern to be taken out from this dye or uh, tree mold we will require only a little pressure on it you can see that in the pressure gauge there is we have maintained around here uh, 10 11 12 but for this particular uh, mold we require only 5 so we will reduce the pressure here up to 5 yes so we have maintained the pressure on it and now we will try to fill the wax into this die so first of all we need to apply Uh, talcum powder on it so it should not stuck to each other and uh, will not be any moisture inside it open it properly so every cavity should have it later you need to remove all this powder talcum powder out of the mold now we need we will lock it properly put it onto the acrylic plate and make sure that you fix this die between the plates evenly so you will have a proper on this die now we will fill we will just uh, use this cavity onto this wax nozzle and we'll push it in ahead so the wax will get into this cavity let's see hold it maybe 2 3 seconds and uh, as it is a new die it may take 3 uh, 4 times that uh, uh, may come the piece completely we will try 2 3 times so we can have a complete wax pattern we need to hold it for around 1 minute now we will just open it here we have this first piece of wax pattern here is little extra wax so we can clean it later on so this is our first pattern now we will try to move to the next 
पीस आई बिलीव दैट वी शुड रिड्यूस अ लिटिल प्रेशर ऑन इट सो वी विल नॉट हैव एक्स्ट्रा वैक्स We need to hold the pressure a little bit. Now we may get a good quality of wax pattern, and we had reduced the pressure. And then we will wait for some time. And now we will just open it. So now we have the better quality than the previous one, right? So we can achieve a good accuracy after two, three try. As you can see that here we have little more extra that should not come. This time we had reduced the pressure a little bit, so I believe that we can reduce a little more pressure. so we will have it so every time that we have to check how much pressure is required and that will you get to know after practice only this time we have reduced the pressure but we have increased the holding time so let's see the result it seems quite better than the previous two pieces and make sure that we cannot uh, remove these extra x 100% because that extra wax comes on to the parting lines where the uh, mold has been cut out so that cannot be removed 100% that will be over there but that can be cleaned later on it should not come uh, you know like we had got in the free first piece that you can see in this one eh? there was a lot of extra wax we call that parting lines so let's try to open it This time we are looking a very smooth surface. And easy to do. Let's see the oh, beautiful it is right now. There's no any extra wax. Now you can see the difference. This is first piece. This is second piece and this is our third piece. Here you can see This irregularity, this extra wax comes out. This is the second piece. This extra wax has been reduced drastically. A little bit here was also, but in third piece that you can see this whole edge is very smooth, shiny, and no extra wax. Even at even at that side also, this piece is completely clean both the sides. So friend, this is our next mold. which was a blue resin one and it was been made in three part so we are going to take out the wax pattern out of this also so let's try to do that again here we will sprinkle some kind of powder here so to remove the moisture and stickiness Make sure you remove the extra powder, talcum powder, from the mold. Okay. Uh, 
we had kept as less pressure let's try start with the low one then we'll increase if required as it was a big piece big size so we had kept it longer time and this is the first injection of this mold let's check whether it's filled properly or not we can we should hold it for around 30 40 second to dry the wax up And in this mold, we will take this third part out first. So to take out, take out the wax pattern, clean. Okay. Now we will just remove this third part. This third part taken out. Let's take out this second part completely out. see how beautiful it is come out in the first hand only there is no extra wax there is no extra wax very neat and clean so we assume that uh, uh, this pressure is enough and the holding time is also very good so we are nothing to do in this model it is completely done okay friends uh, see this the third one which was spoiled you can see there's a lot of bubbles inside let's see the result again we have to sprinkle the powders all around We are going to just fill the wax inside it. Let's open this one now. Now it is uh, not dried up well. So let's wait some moment. You can see that there was a lot of bubbles inside, so the wax has got filled in that area. So it should not happen. You can see that uh, the back pattern is almost fine except the back side bubbles. You can see here which was stuck into this one at this side. So we can clean them off, but uh, there is an extra backs that will require extra time to clean them off. So it should not happen. So better we vacuum the RTV liquid properly mix them properly and then make a good kind of mold as we had shown in our first two molds so it's not happen hope you have uh, seen the difference between the bad mold and the good mold and how to make a good one and the bad one so these are the bubbles which will you know not allow you to get a good kind of wax pattern see this one these are the all wax bubbles allow the wax to get into them even you can see that this is already damaged. The battery just throw it out, don't use for the further process. Yes, of course, if you want to have only one or two pieces that you can use this die, but you will require a lot of effort to clean them off later on.
Now here you can see that uh, we had three molds and uh, this was the first one you can see and this was the second one and this was the third one which was the bed one where you will you have seen that uh, the wax bubbles put inside and converted into the solid wax bubbles molds so this mold is not usable anymore so these two molds you can use for further mass pressure technique thanks for watching the video and if you like the video please like comment and share this video thank you